How's it going guys? My name is Lappy. On today's video guys, I'm gonna show you how you can improve your performance on Fortnite so you can have better input delay, better ping while you're playing this game. So if you want to have better performance on Fortnite, let's start with this video. So what about start with the Epic Game Launcher? First of all, on the Epic Game Launcher, let's go to your profile. After that, go to the settings, scroll a little bit down, and on desktop notification, please deactivate these two options. Then keep scrolling down, go to your game, which is Fortnite. Probably you're gonna see something like this. You need to active the additional command line arguments. And over here on this whole square, you need to put the next command, which is LAN play no splash non texture streaming and use all available cores so well basically here lamp play will help you with the ping no splash and no texture streaming will help you with the drop of fps and also use all available cores will help you using the maximum quantity of cores you have to run fortnite better you probably know that fortnite is a game that requires a good processor to have better fps so if you use this option will help you a lot you don't need to do nothing else on the epic and launcher well on the settings of the epic and launcher because because now we need to go to library then we need to find the Fortnite game if you are not able to find you can go to the filters and type Fortnite so you can find the game click the three little dots click on options and over here this tab will pop up so well basically here I strongly recommend to follow the next option so if for some reason you don't have save the word deactivate save the word also the high textures and the X 12 shaders deactivate them because this will take hard drive space and also will take performance okay disable cosmetic streaming on this option I recommend to have deactivated the only issue is that if you deactivate this option when you play Fortnite probably you're gonna see a lot of players using default skin for example really quick if an enemy is wearing I don't know our skin you're gonna see that our skin as the default so if you want to have active this option it's up to you but I'm gonna show you what options I'm gonna have so okay guys once you choose your preferred options okay as you can see I'm gonna use this ones this is up to you I recommend this one but if you want to have deactivate this it will help you with the performance after you do that you should go click on the three little dots one more time click on manage and over here you need to go to the installation folder click on options this tab will pop up which is the installation folder and you need to follow the next location so go to Fortnite game then binaries win 64 scroll all the way down and here on the Fortnite client what you should do is go to the options or the properties and go to compatibility so as you can see here I have two options active which is disable full screen optimization and also run this program as an administrator if you choose this option click on change high DPI settings and active these two options if you have already active these two options click on ok and click on apply and click on ok just to let you know administrator permissions will help to focus more performance on Fortnite so please active this option now once you do that you can close the Fortnite and also the epic and launcher now we're gonna improve the performance on Windows. for this it's gonna be really simple go to the settings now go to gaming go to game mode active the game mode go to graphic settings active the hardware GPU accelerate scheduling on graphic performance preferring at Fortnite if you don't know how to add Fortnite go to browse here you need to find the Fortnite client which is on the next location as you can see here but if for some reason you can't find the Fortnite client go to the epic game launcher here you're gonna be able to find the option just click on manage go to the installation folder on this folder just go to Fortnite game binaries win64 and as you can see here what you need to do is select the address which is this one by only double clicking on the square you're gonna be able to select the address and over here on the open which is on the graphic performance preference you should put the address once you do that you're gonna get directed to the Fortnite client and over here you should add this one once you add this one you need to click on options and active the high performance which is this one as you can see it will use my GPU Nvidia GeForce RTX 2070 super click on save now what you need to do is go to home now you you should go to apps and now you need to go to startup on the startups as you can see you're gonna have a lot of apps that may decrease your performance as you can see here it depends a lot on the high impact medium impact or low impact so well you need to have none of these startups open anytime that you turn on your pc so for example the ccx process i don't need it the epic game launchers i do need it because i play fortnite so i'm just gonna leave it the google i don't need it the microsoft edge also onedrive also the open vpn i use it for work stuff but i'm gonna leave it on medium the opera gx I'm, i don't need this steam i do need it the steel series gg apps i don't need it the update by github is discord so i'm just gonna leave 
like that and the torrent I don't need it so I deactivate all of these apps that you don't need and you should do the same once you do that go to home one more time and here you need to find the background apps you can type over here background apps and over here you're gonna find the background apps that you don't use so for example have you ever used 3d beware because I don't if you do just leave it active but if you don't deactive on my case I don't use this one I don't use the camera Cortana and what I'm gonna do right now is the apps that I don't use and we're gonna continue with the video so well probably we have done most of the team that will help you with the performance but one of the last things that I want to show you on Windows optimization by going on any folder it doesn't matter you can open any folder and going to this PC click right onto this option and click on properties you're gonna open this about options section but you need to scroll down and find this option which is advanced system setting once you open this up as you can see here we're gonna find system properties on the advanced mode which as you can see here what we're gonna change is the perform click on this option and as you can see here we have the performance option so well basically if you deactivate all of them it will help you reducing your quality performance but will help you while you are playing video games so so what I do recommend is test one by one so you can see what you want to have active or what you don't want to have active. This will help me by decreasing the quality graphics of your windows but increasing your FPS on game. If you don't think this will affect the performance of your PC, it will but if you don't want to mess with the quality of windows, just don't use this option. So guys, I show you most of the settings that you should use if you want to have better performance. Now is the time to show you how to reduce your pin in Fortnite. So the first thing that I want to show you guys is flush your kachi and also flush your dns so first of all you need to open the command prompt on the search bar what you need to do is type only cmd or command prompt and over here you need to run command prompt as an administrator so well over here what you should do to flush your dns in kachi or clean your dns in kachi what you should do is type the next command ipconfig space slash flush DNS. This command you will have it on the description of this video with the commas of the Epic and Launcher so you don't need to you know type the command manually. ipconfig flush DNS. As you can see once you finish it will say Windows IP configuration successfully flush. So this simple command that you use on the command prompt will help you by cleaning your cache and will help you with your connection. So once you do that you can close this app and one of the apps that I use most is Nopping. Nopping in my opinion help you a lot if you don't have the great internet possible because it focus to find the best server by giving you the best pin possible in your country and by the way guys if you don't know no ping now is totally free for seven days so if you go to the link on the description you're gonna be able to use no ping for seven days for free and you can test if this actually help you 100% sure that it will help you a lot by ending your lag boosting your FPS including offline games and IP blocking games that probably are not available on your country here's a clear difference of the amount of fps and ping you could have while you are playing with no ping as you can see without no ping you can have high ping and also lower fps but if you use no ping as you can see your ping is gonna be stable and actually it's not really hard to use as you can see here is the app and what you should do if you want to push any game as you can see here you have a lot of games really well known like league of legends constant strike and dota 2 so if you want to push your game for example we're gonna push fortnite you should click on select the server on fortnite and as you can see here what you should do is first refresh your ping so you can see which is the recommend ping and as you can see here if i refresh i'm gonna have a lot of servers you have between united states central east west and what you should do is pick the server that you're supposed to be playing on on my case i play on east because central or west give me a really 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 bad ping i'm gonna pick east once you click on east what you should do is now click on optimize this game and after that what you should do is only wait until you see some numbers over here which mean that the no pin app is running so we need to wait a couple minutes and now as you can see i have these numbers over here which means that i'm currently using no pin so guys before we go ahead and test the pin on fortnite i'm gonna recommend you to do something there is a secret settings on no pin that will boost your fps a lot so if we go to the settings over here as you can see here probably you're not gonna have nothing of this active first of all make sure to run no pin 
at startups. This will turn on automatically anytime that you start up your PC. Also, you should active the turbo games. This will improve the keyboard response, which means that you will have less input delay. Then we need to go to boost FPS, which is this option, as you can see. This option will boost the FPS on your game. So if you click over here, you need to make sure to have active all of these settings so you can have the best performance on game and actually really help you. As you can see, Windows is doing something because it's actually working. As you can see, now it's needed to restart your PC to make the changes. So what you're gonna do over here is once you finish with the settings of the boost of FPS, you must restart your PC. Don't you worry because the settings that you active, you can deactivate them if you don't want. But remember, these options that you active will help you a lot by giving you better input delay and also better FPS so as you know that let's try this on Fortnite All right so as you can see here I'm gonna show you that my current ping is 80 90 and I'm not using the app because uh, I just deactivate before I start and as you can see I have 90 and as I told you my ping is actually really bad 144 154 160 and it's not really good so let's see i'm gonna activate the app right now i'm gonna click on optimize i need to get out of the game and come back because i'm not gonna be able to move as you can see here all right so here we are guys and as you can see i do have 60 ping which is one of the lowest ping i ever had actually really crazy i mean i feel way too better because my fps are really good and also my ping decrease and as i told you i usually have between 100 and it's really bad now it showed me it's 93 on central and 90 on east which is actually really insane so well that's pretty much everything talking about dumping 100 sure it will help you a lot so please use the link in the description and that's pretty much everything so guys that's pretty much everything i hope this helped please don't forget that if you like this video you can use my code slappy the foreign adding shop that really support me a lot if you want to support me and also if you subscribe it will also help me a lot so guys hope this helped and i see you soon bye bye